So welcome to section two, safety first. The first lecture, I'm gonna talk about electricity and why you must respect electricity. Electrical accidents can result in anything from the severe discomfort and pain of receiving a shock and the potential for burns, tissue and muscle damage to the more severe outcome of, of death from these types of injuries. And you can also disrupt the electrical impulses that control your heartbeat and that can kill you of course as well. So the main thing to remember when working with electricity is to make sure the power is off. If you ever need to install or replace any electrical device, you need to understand the concept behind how they work. For the purposes of this program, we will address three simple devices, outlets, switches, and light fixtures, since these are the most common devices found in a home. Before you begin any electrical project, make sure you turn off the power at that breaker's circuit. This will turn off the power for all electrical devices on that circuit. Also, place a visible notice on the outside of the panel that electrical work is in process. Just a couple points to make. When you see him open up that panel cover, you can see the terminals and the wires. That inside plate has been removed on that particular panel. So when you open up the door to your panel, you're only going to see the breaker handles. You won't see the terminals and the wires. And also he talks about testing for current. Sometimes they refer to current and testing for power. You're actually not testing for power. What you're testing for is the presence of voltage. So just to make that point clear, you'll understand more about that as the program moves on. It is always a safe practice to assume the electricity is on until you are sure from testing that it is turned off completely. Don't take any chances. A good way to test for the presence of electrical current is to use a voltage meter or a circuit tester. There are many types of testing devices. Some are simple, while others have more features for specialized uses. But essentially, they all have the same function, to indicate or measure the presence of electrical current. These devices normally have two ends fitted with metal probes, a sensor light, or a display. When you connect the circuit testers properly with an existing electrical current, the display will indicate or measure voltage present in that circuit. Other testers have light indicators that glow when it detects a 120 volt or 240 volt current. 